Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 28 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And last time we finished off with the Forest Haven over here, actually more precisely the Forbidden Woods over there. And now we're going to head that way. Man, I'm going to keep turning 90 degrees here. Hmm. Is Beetle stopped for me? Dude, you can pass, it's okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, we're going to go this way anyways, so it doesn't matter to him. Anyways, yeah, so we finished the Forest Haven, we got our Furore's Pearl. And we have our next destination set for us, just, uh, what was it, it was like two squares northeast, northwest, sorry, and two squares west from there. I think that's what it was, more or less. Anywho, um, yeah, so now we're back out on the open sea, it's been a while, so we've, we've spent a little while just like on Windfall and Forest Haven, so it's nice to be able to just get back out to sea, you know. I don't know, maybe I should be cutting this out, but the trip to our next island isn't too long anyways. Besides, I just kind of want to enjoy time with you guys, you know, because you never really just... Like, if this if this is real life, you just want to see this. You'd be out in the open ocean sailing. This would be awesome, unless, like, a storm hit or something. Which they do from time to time, but they're not so bad in this game. Yeah, and I do plan to stop at every island along the way just to see what's there, even if there isn't anything there. As well as to feed the merman so I can get, to the, so I can get it on my chart. This island's actually kind of uh, nifty. We'll be back here a few times, even though it's so small, there's actually quite a bit to do here. You wouldn't think it. Okay, uh, where's a good place to dock? Dude, there's a treasure chart there. I wonder what that is. Oh, I kind of feel like digging it up. By the way, there was one treasure chart that wasn't open, that I opened off screen. I think it was number 33. It was like Seven Star Island or something. I think that's what it was for. There's the merman out there, so we'll get him in a second. Oh, hey, dude. Have we seen you yet? I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. One. One flying seagull? What? Oh no. Are they coming to attack? Dive, dive, dive! This is madness. Eight seagulls, really? I want to see. Because seagulls can actually be signs of certain things in this game. I, I, didn't rem I don't remember if there's one of these at this island. Uh, oh yeah, sure enough. Look at that. Seagulls out there. Hmm. Right by the whirlwinds. Cool. Maybe we'll have to check that out later. I don't think that's worth checking it right now, though. Let's see. Don't touch me with those filthy hands, you mischievous little scamp. Ahem! This cabana belongs to the master, and the master alone. You grimy, trespassing little scoundrel. Away with you! Away, I say! Dude, <laughs> rude much? Goodness gracious. Alright, um... I think you can do this right now, actually. There's, uh... Like, it looks like you might not be able to get up there. But I think if you do this just right, you can do it. First, I have to make the wind face in the correct direction, though. It looks like it's about to start raining. That's cool. Fine by me, dude. Just makes it that much more epic while I'm sailing. You know? Alright, so exact opposite of what it is right now. Fancy that. Alright, and if you do this just right, jump off precisely with your Deku Leaf. Like right here. That doesn't have to be too precise, actually. But you can make that. Nice. Normally, I think you need uh, something else to get over here, but there is a chest up here waiting for you, and even though it looks really fancy schmanchy, like you may think, think it might be a heart piece, I think it's just a treasure chart that's up here. They wouldn't put something that great up here, would they? Nah. Maybe this leads to a heart piece, you never know with these things. But yeah, there it is. And before I forget, I might as well... What the hell are you doing? No, don't... <laughs> that's not a treasure chart. You want to pull all your treasure charts and open that one, whatever it was. 27. Uh, is that... I think that's Seven Star Island, so what was the other one? It was this one, I think, um... It's like five... I don't know, there's some... There's one that's like Arp Archipagio, and there's another one that's... It's weird, this, these island names can get a little weird. I guess you could fly over to the roof of that place if you wanted to. It looks like there's a pineapple on top or something. I don't know. Taking a leaf from the decorating book of Isle Delfino, I guess. Where did I park my boat? My boat? Where are you? Can I? Oh, there he is. He's hiding behind this wall. What do you think you're doing over here? Oh, don't yawn in my face. He was yawn. He was about to eat the camera. What a crazy, <laughs> what a crazy old man. Anyways, yeah, I'm pretty sure that the big octo in this square that's signified by all those seagulls over there that we saw is um, I think it has 200 rupees, and that would not be beneficial to me at all right now. So, since my wallet is full. I love that you, I love when you can do that. You can combine the word wallet and tis to make wallet tis full. 
No, no, no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, that wouldn't have been that bad to get enraptured by that stupid thing, but still. Uh, I'm flying right into those seagulls. I gotta fly a little bit off to the side here if I want to avoid that. Because I could take out that big octo right now, now that I have the boomerang. And, um, but I really don't think it's worthwhile because I'm pretty sure that's an 8-eyed octo. And only the 12 eye ones give you heart pieces. Speaking of heart pieces, I should go back and get, get that heart container before doing anything else here. That's the wrong way, dude. I'm going to be sailing over this way. That one looks a little bit more interesting than this one, though. Hmm. You know, I think I am going to go to this one. Just because that one looks all flat and boring. And this one, at least there's like... It's still kind of flat and boring, but at least there's two islands that I can see. Oh, there's a bunch of sea hats, too. Hmm. Oh, I didn't get the freaking thing back there, the merman for that. Oh, well, I can go back and get that later. Oh, I might as well prepare my bait so that I remind myself. And now we're sailing in the nighttime. I love the night times in this game. It reminds me of Majora's Mask a little bit. Alright. Come on. Let's see what this island is. Looks rather familiar. Oh, I have like gas in my throat. It's so weird. Ugh. 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 Okay. I think I'm good. Oh, not be a sea chart. Yes, she chart. Yes, she. And this is Southern Triangle Island. Cool. Or Southern. Or Southern. Or how? How many? How many different ways are there to pronounce the word Southern? A famed photographer lives far to the north here on Windfall Island. He apparently he's apparently really wise and talented in the ways of pictography. I forgot my voice for this guy. I'm sorry. I'm just going to give him normal voice. He's even said to have legendary pictographs that he treasures above all other things. He keeps them hidden away in a secret safe, or so, or so they say. By the way, small fry, what exactly is a pictograph? And <laughs> him and his lack of land knowledge. Well, he has lots of land knowledge. He just doesn't have common... Ow! <laughs> Wait, interrupt me mid-sentence. Yeah. Yeah, so he does have legendary pictographs. That actually has something to do with the uh, Nintendo Gallery side quest that we're on, and I'll talk about that a little later. But if you recall, there was one other... Actually, have we vis visited both? I think we've only visited one. But this is the second of three Triangle Islands, and we can't really do it, do anything here, here yet. Can I, like, even check this? No. Well, that's just dandy. Is there anything on that island? Just flowers and grass? Nice, nice scenery, I guess. Nice aesthetic presentation. Well, anyways, uh... I think I'll be off if you gents don't mind. Oh my goodness. They're so vicious. Like, they don't attack me when I'm all defenseless like this, but when I'm in a boat and I have my defenses up, then that's when they're scared. And they plan to attack. Alright, so I guess we're heading this way now. Uh, oh my god, look how many there are. That's so terrifying. Jeez, and they're still chasing me, even though there's no chance of them catching up. How utterly perplexing. Hmm... Yeah, so it looks like we're going to sail just a little bit to the left of the center of the map here. And that's kind of a shame, because I think there is something in the center of the map that I kind of want, like a heart piece or something. Oh well, I opted to go this way, so this way I shall go. This one looks really flat, too. Is this no is this one of those reefs? Because it's always, you always know when you're coming up on one of these reef things, when like, uh, when you see it's that that's like super duper flat and like this isn't super duper flat once you get closer to it I guess but like it's it doesn't tower as much as other islands do I guess is what I'm trying to say with that it looks like there's more pea hats here too I think I might have seen a platform in the distance there too that's a cannon boat oh my goodness hello cannon boat I don't think I can do anything here yet but I'm gonna sail on in just to be absolutely sure huh there's a ran I saw a random hole in the wall. Yeah, look, there's just these r weird holes in the wall. There's supposed to be cannons in those, but I guess I guess the cannons don't appear until you do something, so... Oh, well. There's nothing to do for us here if there's no cannons here. Because basically the main objective of each of these reef islands is to, um... Is to destroy all the cannons in the on the island. And then you'll get something for that. You'll get a treasure. Usually some kind of chart, I think. So that'll be useful to remember. What's the moon like tonight? Because if it's full, I want to get a picture of it. Because there's something I have to do with that. 
Hello, moon. Oh, you're not quite full yet. It's just a smidgen short. Did I already do that? I don't even know. Yeah, there is that platform over there. But first I want to see if I can find the merman. Wow, look at all these treasure things. Too bad my wallet's full. Otherwise I totally indulge. I think I saw the merman splash over here. He's around here somewhere. He has to be. There cannot be an island saws merman. There he is. The little butt munch. Gotta get over there and uh, uh, get my bait ready first, I guess. God, the more of this I do, the more repetitive I realize it is, and the more I think I should be, like, cutting it out, but still. Alright, here we go. What do you gotta say about this little island, dude? This boring little brown Hudson Island. Mm. Let's see. Oh my god, whoa! The camera... <laughs> Great view. This is the best view I've ever seen of the merman. Oh my goodness. You never see the camera like that. It's like all askew. It's so weird with this shot. I don't know how that happened. I must have like parked on a wave or something. Cyclops Reef. This one's always cool. Because it's the only reef that doesn't have the word I in it. You see those weird rings of light that appear in seas at night, for, haven't you? Yeah, well those things are sure a sure sign that there's treasure deep in the deep try. But let me tell you, there, there are some lights that don't always shine. Yeah, there are spe those secret special... Blah, blah, blah. Yep. Yeah, so there's a certain chart that'll tell you what those are. I never really got into that whole thing. I think they only give you, like, like the ones that only appear on certain nights, like he says. I think they only give you, uh, like, 50 rupees each. I don't think they are, they're really that worth it. Anywho, before we move on with, uh, whatever else we have to do here, let me just check out this platform really quick. Since there's cannons here, then I don't really want to tackle it quite yet, but I'm not sure if there will be. It looks like there are. Yeah, there's cannons here. I can't do anything about this. Can't do diddly dick. And we're off. Gee, that's a jagged looking island. Jaggy, jaggy. I think that's our destination island too, isn't it? Yup. Go figure. It didn't really take us that long to get... Oh, well, like a whole video. Good lord, dude. Didn't take us that long. Yeah, this is the end of the video or the start of a new one. I don't even know yet.